<laughs> I'm the smartest titan around. Uh, where did you get that idea from, Kong? Um, I'm literally a mammal. You're a reptile. That automatically makes me the smarter one. Um, yeah. Kong, I hate to break it to you, buddy, but you're one of the dumbest thinking titans I've ever met. Okay, wise guy, what makes you think I'm dumb? Well, first of all, you fell for the same chick several times, and you even got gunned down off the Empire State Building more times than I've had bad movies, which is saying a lot because I have a catalog of, what, 30-something movies to date? Ugh, you are right. Except you're wrong. What makes you say that? Well, I ain't like that sort of King Kong. I'm Kong now. Which means you lost your king status? Dum dum. Ugh. You know what? Fine. If I can't prove to you I'm the smartest titan, then I'll show you I'm the smartest titan. Isn't that literally just thinking, saying the same thing, just differently? Ugh, you're right. Red here will be our referee. Wait, what? When did I ever agree to this? Okay, since both of you guys can't decide who's smarter, we're gonna do a little bit of trivia game for our first round. So, what is the common most, um, material in the ground? Seriously, that's all you could come up with? Yeah, that's kind of a dumb question for both ancient monsters. One's ancient, you're young. Ugh. Trying to make myself look better. Everyone else who just brushes me off aside because, oh, I'm just a big monkey. I don't stand a chance against you. Meanwhile, here you have fire breathing and everything. Yeah, it's because I'm way better than you are. And everyone knows I'm smarter. All right, fine. Uh, different question. Math question. What's one plus one? Uh, I think window? Huh, that, that's literally the stupidest answer everyone knows. The real answer is 11. Because think about it. One and one together is 11. That's what 11 is. Two ones together. Am I right? You guys are both knuckleheads. Okay, both of you. Round two. Here we have Mothra. Now, I'm going to give you both a rose, the same rose to be exact, and your goal is to present Mothra with that rose. Now, Mothra will judge which one was the better presenter, and hopefully not being biased towards Godzilla, considering the fact that Godzilla is literally married to Mothra, so... Hopefully we can have a fair round here. You ready to go, Mothra? Let's go. Wait a minute, you're married to Mothra? Yes, I am, Mighty Joe Young. Now let's do this. Here you go, ma'am. I present to you from Red, who I guess picked out the best looking rose that he could find. The best looking rose that he can find. Given to you by yours truly, King Kong. Eh, a little bit too long of an introduction. But I like the enthusiasm. See, lizard? She likes my enthusiasm. Oh, come on, Donkey Kong on steroids. She's obviously gonna pick me over you. What makes you say that? What are you gonna do? Go up to her, hand her the rose, and sell her car insurance? Oh, you'll see, monkey. Let's go. From the king of the monsters to the queen of the monsters, I hand you this rose. But this isn't the only thing I have for you, Mothra. What do you have for me next? Masura, yeah, Masura. Kanda, I forget the lyrics. Dang it, Mindo. Nice rendition of my song. So that was Godzilla and that was Kong. Which one do you think did a better job? Hmm, I'll say Godzilla. What? She's totally being biased. <laughs> Take that, monkey. It wasn't because I was being biased. It's just because, Kong, your enthusiasm really didn't save it all that much. Your introduction was long and you kind of stuttered. Even though Godzilla kind of messed up the third line of my song, he at least still sang it. Which truly shows that he loves me and... Well, I... Don't know what else to say, I just like that. So, he doesn't have any style, he surely has no grace, but I'll give it to Kong that he has a funny face. So, round two goes to Godzilla. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, and round three, aka the last round, is jawbreaking. Wait a minute, jawbreaking? I didn't agree to that. Wait, 
Did you just say jawbreaking? Did did you agree to this, Gore Source? No, I didn't. Jeez, cuz. What? How do we even get ourselves into these situations? Wait a minute, cuz? You two are related? Are you two are related? Of course we're related, you idiot. Look at us. We're literally looking the same. It's just that he has dorsal spikes and a back toe. I don't. Gosh, are you that stubborn? You know, now that we're on a, the subject of jawbreaking, I have the urge to break this guy's jaws even more. Okay, then. Do it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to stop this challenge right now. Godzilla, listen. Even though that we're constantly at each other's throats all the time, even after we made up, are we really going to risk hurting other people just for the sake of settling some petty arguments that's probably going to be settled in 2020? Um, yeah. See, that's it. I think that's where our intelligence has a fault. You're too stubborn. I think illogically. That's our main fault, Godzilla. So what you're basically saying is... We both have our faults in, t in intelligence, but debatably, we're both as smart. Exactly. We don't need to be enemies in that realm. We can both say we're equally as smart, just in different ways. So I say we're both the winners, eh? Yep. Huh. At least that saved us a few thousand dollars in hospital bills. We have free health insurance. Oh.